Hey guys, this is Asia Barreto, and I'm going to show you how to create a parallel effects track on Logic Pro X. Now, the benefit of creating a parallel effects track is that you can kind of configure each um, signal in different amounts that are being sent to an auxiliary bus track, which will have your effect applied to it. So you get to send the level of output to the input, which is your auxiliary bus, and apply the effect in different amounts, which is different from having a summing track on Logic Pro X. So let me walk you through how to create your parallel effects track. You're going to go up to Mix, I.O. Labels, and here on the bus one, I have already created a reverb bus. So you just type it into your long here and then create your bus, and that just kind of keeps you organized. So. Before we create our reverb effect, let's go ahead and play back what we have so far. Amazing grace. So I'm going to take these vocals and route them to our auxiliary bus track. Let's see. Here we go. Send the reverb bus that we just created. And as you notice, as we click the reverb bus, the auxiliary track is automatically created by Logic Pro. And the input is the reverb bus. So everything that's being sent from these signals is coming in to our auxiliary bus track. Now we have to apply the reverb effect onto our track. Let's go to Space Designer, since it looks all fancy. And let's go to Choir Hall. As you notice, our dry signal is all the way set to zero, which is great because on our parallel effects track, we only want whatever effect it is that we have selected applied to that track. We don't want any dry signal. That avoids any phase cancellation, which we don't want coming out in our output. So remember, 100% effects on, on your effects track. So looks like we're all set up. We have our effect on our track, and let's play it back, see what we have. Amazing grace. What happened? It sounds exactly the same. Well, we did, or I did, I skipped a step. This is an important step. You have to send the amount of signal that you want. You have to set that send. So double clicking that knob will allow you to input it manually instead of dragging it back and forth. So for this example, we'll set it to different levels. For the high vocals, let's set it all the way to negative six. For the mid, um, let's do it at zero. And for the low, let's pump it up to six. So here we have the different signals being sent at different levels to our effect. So now we should get a greater sense of reverb on our lower vocals and a much less a much lesser sense of reverb on our higher vocals. And this is just to demonstrate that you can set your effects at different levels by creating a parallel effects track. Let's play it back. Amazing okay, that's there it is. That's our effect. So it worked. We have the different uh, the uh, the same effect being apply, applied in different levels um, by sending the signal in different amounts. Here we have a fader dedicated just to our effect. So we can make those adjustments by just dragging the fader up and down. Let's do that as we play it back. Amazing grace. So now you see we have a fader dedicated completely to our effect. And we have our dry mix still preserved right here. So this is very useful, especially when you have instruments that maybe you want you know, to apply these the same effect but in different amounts. Perhaps you want to bring the keys or the vocals closer up to the listener but have the drums or other instruments farther away. So you put more reverb on the drums and those other instruments than to the instruments that you want to bring closer up. You can do this with any effect. Um, I just chose reverb because it's commonly used with vocals, but you can use this in any way with any track by just creating a parallel effects track. So hopefully you learned um, how to do this in Logic Pro X, and maybe you can apply this in whatever DAW that you use. Thanks for watching.